Hello guys, in this video we are covering a really exciting topic, what is energy and the first law of thermodynamics or the law of conservation of energy. So let's start with Richard Feynman. He was an American theoretical physicist who received the Nobel Prize in physics in 1965. And he stated that it is important to realize that in physics today, we have no knowledge what energy is. How weird that is, right? But it kind of makes sense. As we will learn more about energy, uh, hopefully you will see what he meant. Okay, so if you look into your textbook, you are going to see the definition of energy as something like this. It is the ability to do work and transfer heat. This makes sense, right? So there are two basic forms of energy. Kinetic energy, which is just simply the energy of motion. So how fast something is going, right? And potential energy, which is the energy stored in an object due to its position relative to other objects. Let me demonstrate. Let's say I have my phone right here and it has a little bit of potential energy compared to my other hand, lower hand right here, right? So if I drop my phone, it falls, right? So this is the potential energy. Now, if I climb up to the top of the Eiffel Tower with my phone and drop my phone, well, it's going to have a ton of potential energy compared to the ground and probably is just going to break on impact with the ground. Okay, let's talk more about energy and thermodynamics. So thermodynamics is the study of energy and its transformations. And for chemistry, we have actually a different term, thermochemistry, which is a branch of thermodynamics, which is the study of energy changes during chemical reactions. Okay, so I told you I am fascinated by energy. Why? Because the first law of thermodynamics, or also called the law of conservation of energy, states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. Energy can only be transferred from one form to another. How weird that is that we have a quantity in the universe that the universe was born with, and it's always the same. You cannot create new energy. You cannot destroy it. It can only be transferred. Okay. So let's take an everyday example and let's figure out how can we transfer energy from one form to another. I can take this ball, for example. It's really nice and soft and I can throw it right? As it goes upwards, it has some kinetic energy and then it's going to fall back. So let's take a look at this example on paper. What happens? Let's say that I have my ball right here and I throw it up. So this arrow here represents the velocity of the ball, okay? As it goes up, a velocity becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. And now on the top, it doesn't have any more velocity, so it's going to start falling back down. And as it falls back down, its velocity increases, increases, and increases even more. So what happens with the energy? At this point where I started, I'm going to have a lot of kinetic energy in my ball, right? Because it's actually going with a relatively large velocity upwards. But do I have any kinetic energy on the top? No. So actually there, the ball completely stops for a split second where the kinetic energy going to equal to zero. But what happened to this energy? Did it just go away? Did I destroy kinetic energy? No, it actually transformed into 
potential energy, okay? Because it's up high right now and then it's going to start falling back down. And as it falls back down, its potential energy becomes lower and lower and lower. And if this is, let's say, the ground, then at this point, the potential energy of the ball equals to zero, but the kinetic energy should equal to the same amount of energy with which I threw my ball. So the velocity here and there should be the same. But what about the air molecules and friction? So imagine that as my ball goes upwards, it actually bumps into all these air molecules. Right, there are a bunch of air molecules. So basically, what happens is that as my ball is traveling, it hits all those air molecules and transfers some of its energy into the air in a form of heat. So basically, these little air molecules will start to go a little bit faster because as we know, temperature just tells us the average kinetic energy so if you have two atoms for example if they have a low temperature they have low kinetic energy they move really really slowly and at high temperatures they start to move really really fast with high kinetic energy okay so we did not destroy kinetic energy we did not destroy potential energy we simply transferred the energy from one form to the other according to the law of the conservation of energy and the first law of thermodynamics. To our current knowledge, there is no exceptions to the first law of thermodynamics. The energy of the universe is constant. You cannot destroy or create energy. Energy can only be transferred from one form to another. Fascinating, right? More on energy in the next video. See you there.